Hello everybody, this is LaToya of Infinite Nature and I am back with a video where I'm talking about the supplements that I am taking right now during my pregnancy. Um, I am currently 30 weeks. Um, I am a raw vegan or I eat raw vegan. I've been eating raw vegan throughout my whole pregnancy. Um, this is my first pregnancy. I'm having a home birth and I'm excited about the whole experience. I do have a midwife. She is very awesome, very knowledgeable um, when it comes to um, a lot of things, <laughs> including the nutritional part of it, which I believe has really helped me to have a really good pregnancy overall. Some of the, th um, the supplements that I have been taking First and foremost, I have this case that, ooh, excuse me, that my husband bought for me, um, which is very helpful because I find myself forgetting sometimes um, if I've taken a certain pill or not, like how many I've taken. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good overall, but sometimes you may have those days where you forget if you took two pills or three pills four pills you know but the, uh, the prenatal vitamins that i've been taking since the beginning is the vitamin cold the raw prenatal vitamins you can find them at health food stores particularly at whole foods um it is on the uh, on the more expensive side but i really like this brand it's called garden of life brand i really think this is a quality brand and i also take um this garden of life protein i put this um well my husband makes my smoothies uh and when he's not available to really to make them then i make them but i like the way he makes them but throughout my whole pregnancy i've been taking these uh protein uh supplements which i normally wasn't the type to take supplements period but um, with the changes that were going on in my body, um, I made the conscious choice to, you know, start taking supplements so that I can have a great, you know, easier pregnancy. Um, and it's definitely been helpful for me. Um, I feel like it is the part of the reason why I've been able to my that my baby has been growing well and I haven't been as exhausted and as tired and as nauseous as I could have been if I didn't take these so they come in different flavors this one is I believe the chocolate one it looks like but they have different ones like vanilla and other other ones I find that this is very great on um as far as the taste because you know sometimes pro, you know those protein vegan protein shakes are not that tasty but that's really good for it to be a raw vegan one it's really really good and um same brand of for the pre prenatals as the protein the um shakes quality is it's on a, on the expensive side but to me it's worth it um i'm also taking vitamin d3 once my first test of uh, blood test results came back, the only thing that came back, you know, low was my vitamin D levels. And I wasn't surprised personally when it did. And I talked about it a long time ago in my earlier update videos. But um, I recently got my test results back for my second, my second blood test where my midwife had me um give blood for for the vitamin d and i am doing great um i actually got my levels up to what it needs to be for you know for pregnancy so yeah it's the whole foods brand right here and at first she had me on 5000 iu per drop but then because i raised I got my levels up she put me down to 4,000 so that's that and then this is my probiotics that I take it's also by Garden of Life you take one a day it's 3 billion um, and this is good for my digestion and whatnot and um, right now my my 
my um, midwife has me taking two for one week. Two instead of one pill for, for one week because of my, she found that <clears throat> um, I had like, that something like that, that there may, I, I could potentially be getting a, like a, um, bacterial or your yeast infection like a yeast, which is common in pregnancy but I didn't feel like I didn't feel any symptoms yet of anything so she said good that means that we are catching it so she's going she said she was up my she wanted me to up this for a week because I never had issues with that when I did my urine testing so it came up during this last visit from um, my 30 week appointment. So she wanted me to take two of these. So, you know, to see if there's any improvements, which I feel like, I, I mean, honestly, I don't feel anything, but you know, you don't have to have symptoms in order to have like yeast infection and all that other stuff going on. Um, but yeah. But hopefully everything goes back to normal the um, next week when I have my my uh, my um, 32 week 32 week checkup. Then um, now newly added is my spirulina, Hawaiian spirulina, which I do eat. We I mean I we do use spirulina. We've eaten it on a lot of things me and my husband I'm very familiar with spirulina and also the um, sunburst superfoods the organic raw chlorella powder I don't know if you can see that but yeah those are for my iron because also on that testing when she when I got tested for second round of vitamin D and then iron. My iron for my first trimester blood test results were good. As far as they were in the normal levels, they went down. So with that being said, I take I'm making sure that I she reckon you know my midwife recommended Corella. I wanted it in powder form, so I do I do have it in my smoothies. It doesn't take much of the supplements in order to fulfill my iron for the day so and I have been focusing a lot more consciously even more consciously on iron rich foods like spinach and things of that nature so but chlorella and spirulina are very similar they're both uh, algae the chlorella is like a single cell algae spirulina is a blue green algae they both to me do have similar similarities um, they both have protein in them they both, I know that uh, the Corella definitely is a source of iron, and also spirulina is, has a source of iron too. Um, they both, to me, they can help you detox, um, definitely. I find that I even release even better <laughs> when I, once I've added that Corella into my smoothie, I release even more stuff. Uh, you know what I mean bowel movements it does I feel like it enhance the, the immune system and it does act as an antioxidant um I felt like when my when I discovered when I discovered that I had the low iron levels or when my midwife told me that I had lower iron levels compared to the earlier in my pregnancy, I said that, you know what, that made sense. Maybe that's why I've been feeling even more winded, even though that's normal with pregnancy is to get tired easily and stuff. I just find that I had to really stop a lot. I know that's normal, but I just like, you know what, it might be that iron not having enough of it so i'm glad that 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 i had that identified so that i can make corrections to it um i've never been the type to take supplements as a vegan and i was actually impressed with my first test results for um first trimester because at that point you know i never been pregnant before. I'm just eating what I'm craving and, you know, which is a lot during that time was um, kale and a lot of fruit, like fruit juices, things 
that were light on the stomach, you know, fruit, certain fruits. Um, so from my first visit and when I got my first test results, the only thing that was low was the D, vitamin D, and I got that up, you know, so I was impressed with my how what my levels were considering the fact that I didn't really you know I didn't know what to expect with this pregnancy and and and, and how my body was going to respond to the food now that I'm pregnant and eating raw you know but I definitely can say that it's possible it's possible for you to be raw vegan and pregnant it's possible to conceive is you know it's possible you know there's a lot of misconceptions that I that 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 I feel like comes with this lifestyle and in regards to con conception and pregnancy and stuff and I really I'm going to share more videos as um, I, you know, after the pregnancy and give a, a real reflection about how I really feel about this whole experience as far as the nutritional part and how there's a lot of, like I said before, misconceptions. You know, um, one thing that stood out to me that my midwife shared was that it doesn't take that much weight in order to carry a baby. And um, which makes sense um, now that I'm going through this process, because that was a, another assumption that I that I feel like when people ask questions, you know, um, about my lifestyle and me eating raw vegan and like me and the desire to get pregnant, they would ask you know questions about my life. If I'm going to be big enough to, you know, or if I'm going to have enough nutrients. And it's like, in my mind, I'm like, of course I'm going to. But, you know, I understand when you're not aware or you don't know, then you're going to have those type of questions. But I'm here to say that, yes, you can be raw vegan and carry a baby. No, you don't have to be a certain weight. It's more about how you treat your body. It's about your nutrition, um, your nutrition, and it's about also your emotional and spiritual and mental. Also, that has a huge impact on your uh, your con conceiving and and um, and being able to carry your child. To me, it has a lot to do with that. And you know. So that's all that I have for now for this video. I didn't want to keep you guys too long, but um, stay tuned for more videos, um, more making raw vegan video, making raw vegan dishes videos, or um, updates to my pregnancy, um, things like that, or things that related to holistic health and healing and things of that nature you can also connect with me on instagram at infinite nature one at tumblr at infinite nature twitter at infinite nature one and also on facebook at infinite nature if you uh, um, need support and changing your diet and you need some, someone to push you to help push you or you need support and having a and having a meal plan you may Definitely contact me at loveinfinitenature.com um, or also go to my email and that's loveinfinitenature at gmail.com. So thank you so much for um, watching this video and make sure you subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye.